Salutations everyone, it is General Heat here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the Silver Warthog glitch. So, here we are on Halo 3 for the 360, and this is a map I made like 10 years ago, and I always had the Silver Warthog here on this map, as you can see right here. Um, let me get a better view so you can see, it's like more silver at certain parts. But I did mark it, and I could never figure out how I did it for these past 10 years, until quite recently. When I remembered I had this map still, and finally figured out how it was done. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's just a lighting thing. You park your Warthog in a certain spot, and the colors change. Um, there's a lot of spots in Halo 3 where you could do that, and the vehicles turn different colors. Like that black tank uh, in the corner. Um, that's parked there because it's in a special spot so it changes colors but as you can see here I nudge the Warthog just a little bit and the silver disappears and if I nudge it back the exact same spot it does not come back so it is not because of the position it's in and you'll see later um, when I show you the tutorial for how to make a silver Warthog that it really doesn't matter too much where you put the Warthog it does need to be in that general area but um, it, it doesn't need to be like in that exact spot so it is not a, just a lighting glitch uh, like the other vehicles or like the other positions on the map. <clears throat> so to do this, you have to spawn your Warthog, you know, in this general area. And I would spawn multiple Warthogs too because um, it's hard to control which one happens to. But so I, I, you know, I put my Warthog right there in that spot and let me just start a new round right now because sometimes it doesn't show up. Uh, but it is saveable um, in Forge and... Once you see it the first time and you save it, you always see it there in that spot. But when you're just experimenting for the first time, like right now, um, we're trying to make it, sometimes you won't be able to see it, and other times other players will be able to see it. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like 50-50. I don't think it has anything to do with who's connection host or not. It's kind of random. But I find that the connection host does see it more often than not. So, yeah, but anyways, here we are. I've made the uh, Warthog again. So this is just the spot that works for me on this map, um, but like I said, it doesn't have to be in this exact spot. Uh, it just—it's not like a hundred percent like guaranteed that it'll happen to this warthog if you put it in that exact spot. It could happen to any of the other warthogs here, but just spawn like multiple ones and line them up like in this general area, and you know just keep trying. You know, start a new round, fly away, and then fly back. Uh, usually when you fly away and fly back that they'll um, make it silver when you come back and then once the warthog is has that silver tint on it just uh, save the map start a new round and um, you should be good and every time you start a new game the warthog should remain silver and most players should be able to see it as well so it shouldn't matter who's host or not but yeah so there you have it the silver warthog <laughs> Um, it's kind of like, I know it's kind of like the Golden Warthog in the past, where there's been a lot of fake videos or other glitches to make it, but this time it's a Silver Warthog, and you know, it's, it, it looks more silver from different angles, um, like here it's, you can clearly see the color difference, but if you look at it from a different angle, you might not be able to notice it as well, but, uh, it's pretty cool. Now, Unfortunately, like I said, it doesn't really matter where you park it. It, it could be uh, silver in that general area. But if you do move it, then it changes colors. So it does need to stay still, uh, but it doesn't have to be in the exact same spot. And this silver coloring glitch, it, it doesn't happen just at a Warthog in that spot. It can happen to a lot of other random objects around the map. Like right here, you know, these battle rifles, they're all, a lot of them are silver. And if you punch them or move them a bit, they change back to the regular color so that's how you know it's not a lighting thing like it's not a, it's not a, it's it is a lighting thing but it's not a lighting thing with like where it's positioned it's i really don't know the exact technical technical explanation for why um the colors are like that and why they're persistent and why they save with the map but that's uh it's just a thing with halo 3 i guess uh but yeah so it could happen to more than just the warthog but it is coolest with the Warthog or some other vehicle if you want to try. It doesn't have to be the Warthog either. Now, it doesn't have to be 360 Halo 3 either. Here we are on the Master Chief collection of Halo. And we're going to try to set up the same uh, glitch again from 
from the start actually. And let me just fast forward this a little bit because it did take a few tries before I finally saw it. And just the uh, same method, just you know, park the warthog in that general spot and then fly back. In this case, it didn't show up for me, but I spawned a few other warthogs just in case it happens to a different one, which it actually did happen to a different one. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be the exact same spot. It's not like the uh, other, like I said, I, I, it's not like the other uh, vehicles where if you park in a certain spot, it's guaranteed to change colors. Now this is like way different than that. But anyways, um, got some vehicles here, uh, and just gonna try starting a new round. <clears throat> So, nothing silver yet, uh, and if you have other people in the game with you, make sure they check too, because sometimes it's silver to them and not you. Uh, so it's pretty much, it's trial and error. Uh, see right now to obtaining chaos, he's in the warthog. It is silver to him, according to him, but to me it's not. But in that case, I just have to, um, I'll just have to try again and fly away and fly back until I can get it to be silver. So, let's go over here. Fly away to the beach. You don't have to fly away to the beach. Just leave the room a little bit and then fly back. But I like to play it safe and just fly to the beach. But I, it doesn't have to be that far. But anyways, there you go. On, Ma on Master Chief Collection version of Halo 3, we do have the Silver Warthog. But it's not as you know noticeable as the Halo 3 version. But it still works. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. It's a pretty simple glitch, but it's pretty cool to show your friends, I guess. <laughs> but uh, if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts and comments. If there's anything else you want to check out, just let us know. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.